What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. I feel like I haven't talked to you all in a while and in reality it's really only been like a week and a half. Today I have a super awesome video, a little bit different, a little bit um, unorthodox you could call it for a fishing YouTube video. Three different days, three different locations, catching studs at each one. I'm super excited about it. I think it's gonna turn out into an awesome video. First location, we are fishing a Southeast Florida inlet for some absolute monsters with my boy Aaron, AKA Amen's Fishing. Next, we are fishing some roadside canals with my boy Victor, AKA Landshark, trying to catch some invasive critters. And lastly, we finish it out with me fishing my home waters or my uh, old home waters where I grew up in Jupiter, Florida, fishing off of the pier, trying to catch some absolute studs. I'm gonna be telling you guys the story from uh, the beautiful inlet here. Let's dive into it. A few days ago, I get a call from my good friend Aaron, and he said he has been on an absolutely hot bite, and I needed to get down there. So I dropped what I was doing, hopped in the truck, and drove down to fish with him for a quick afternoon session. All right, Aaron, you're on. I am. What do you got? Nice snug. Not, I don't think it's too big, but it's, it's a good fish. It's coming towards me. Oh no, it's a good fish. It's a good starter for the day. Yeah, for sure. In this water, I'll take it. Drag just went out, so I'm making any noise. Fishing on the bottom today? Fishing on the bottom. You guys know me. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, that's a good fish. I bet he goes 32, 33. Uh, I brought the heavier rod out today, too. <laughs> Nothing the matter with that. In the crystal clear water. Ooh, nice, dude. Yeah, that's a good fish. The healthy fish you sort of the day. Better probably top slot. What do you think? Yeah, oh, yeah, 100%. Let's hold her up for the camera here. About to freak. There it is, boys and girls. A nice, probably 30 to 32. Tough to tell, but we want to get her back quickly. But uh, yeah, she ate a mullet on the bottom. Beautiful snook going back. She's ready. Oh, she's out of here, dude. Spunky fish. Nice to start the day. Nice start, nice start. When we started fishing, I popped the drone in the air because the lighting looked amazing, the water clarity looked amazing, and I think you guys can appreciate it from these awesome shots. But in that time that I was flying the drone, Aaron fished three dates and caught three fish, back to back to back. So it looked like it was gonna be an absolutely epic afternoon. Let's go, y'all. Aaron's already caught, what, two? Two. Had like four bites? Yeah. I've been messing around, flying the drone, having a good old time, but I'm gonna fish my first bait of the day today. Aaron was working hard for us throwing the net this morning. I'm gonna start with like a medium sized mullet. How big a mullet you got? A bigger one? About that. That's what I got you paid on. I put a little bit bigger one on. So let's throw this medium out. Hook him through the top of the jaw. Fishing like a 5 0 owner circle hook, new two light, two ounces of lead, 50 pound leader. You think I should go in between you or on the other side? You can go in between and drift it out or you can go out here on the left. Oh, oh, freaking. See that? Pulling the lead. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's that little dip right there. Yeah. I'll switch to the throttle. Unless you're not gonna use the throttle. As some of you know, fishing is fishing, and as quick as it can start, it can completely turn off. And that's exactly what happened. By the time I put the drone on the deck of the boat, the snook kind of shut off and they really didn't want to bite. And we really had to grind for the next couple hours just to get a couple bites. So no baits on the live for me yet. I'm gonna throw out this half a lady fish. See if I can get a big lazy one to eat the dead bait. Sometimes these big snook when they're breeding don't wanna chase any live bait down. They do like a big dead bait. So we'll give it a shot. Finally, as the sun started to get a little bit low and the tide started to get moving, the fish turned on and we started to get a lot of bites in a really short amount of time. Nope. Well, it's freaking now. Oh. Oh, oh. I'm on. Oh. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. I'm gonna let it eat. Oh my god, dude. We were tangled, I think. Bro, that was wild. What is, oh, look at those rays. That was wild. We got eaten. 
Oh, I 100% got eaten. You spit it out. I did too. I, was, I think mine was small. Oh my god. All right, we're gonna throw a big boy. Cause we ain't scared to throw big baits on this channel. It's about the size that I had, dude. Nick got that you got eight on? Destroyed. All right, I'm gonna cast over you. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Think that's good? I think so. The closer the better, cause a lot sit inside yeah. of there. Oh, never mind. Pulled out of its mouth. All right, we're gonna need the seven though. We're gonna play these games. Felt good the second time. Dude, like, that mullet is a warrior, son. Oh, oh look, yeah, look, there's look your issue. This, dude. All right, we're gonna put the seven on. Come on. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Very heavy fish. My mullet's freaking out too. Nice fish. Let's go, Aaron. Pull on him. Pull on him. Pull on him. Oh. You're on two? Doubled. <laughs> I got a dink. <laughs> you got the nail. You got a nice fish. Oh, look at all the males. Look at all the males. Hundred of them. Look at Follow look at mine. Follow in mine. Oh, that's a good one. Oh my bad, bro. You're good. Look at them all. Look at them all. Oh my god. That's sick. Alright, let's get my little rinky dink one back. Thank you very much. Adios. Bro, you can net this one. Look at it. You can net that one. Right on her. Huh? Good picture. Um, we are recording. Drop them down a little bit lower. Well, tell me talk. about that fish, dude. Yeah, so this is probably like a 34 to 35 inch uh, breeder. This is a healthy inlet snook. It was. It put up such a good fight, man. They're they're built different out here. They fight so hard, and it's such a pleasure to be able to catch them. We're gonna work on getting a good and healthy release, but we're gonna get some more. Hell yeah. What we got? Got got by the gill, dude. That's a deep slash right oh. there. Oh. The price of doing business. Yeah, uh, it is what it hey is. Hey man, let's get another one. Woo! Oh my god, All on top right there? Yeah. Sick. Pull, pull, pull. Let's go, dude. My dog. <laughs> oh man, guys. This is too much fun out here. They're so much different than the dog stuff. They go so hard. Another house is here. I didn't get him any quick. Boy predator. Giant shark. Giant shark. No way. For real? Yeah, yeah, look at it. See it. He just came up. Manatee. Manatee. <gasps> Girl, I thought your life was over. I should grab the line. Yep. Anchor it. Just freaking out a little. Another one, boys and girls. This one's a little on the smaller side, but still a fun fish to get. I'm gonna launch her head first in case there's sharks or barracuda. We haven't seen any, but just to be safe, she's fresh. I yanked her in with heavy tackle. Ready? Three, two, one. You try a small Come on, pull them out. Not a huge fish. 
smaller fish just ate a big mullet though. Dude, pitch to one of these, pitch to one of these. Okay. Just pitch a bait down on a flat line. Wow. I'm gonna hold them down in the water. There's so many like slot size fish. Do you have a flat line, dude? I'm gonna grab one right now. I'm just holding them down here. Just drop it straight down. I'm gonna pull him up. Yeah. Right here, right here, right here. Dude, look at those breeders. They don't want it. Oh my God. Yeah, I think you need like a perch or something. Yeah, something that'll go right to it. Look at these big breeder fish following this thing. That is yeah. so sick. I think if you had a perch or just like a dead bait. Those they might have eaten. Yeah. They might have effed up, so I should have done that. I just throw on. Can you get a quick vid for me? Yeah, of course. Just beautiful. This is right when the fish start to transition from male to female. So small snooker males, bigger snooker females, and this is that slot size right in the transitionary period. Just beautiful, beautiful fish. It's got so rocky, Love I'm sorry them. guys. Oh, it's fine. That's fine, we just got waked by a bunch of boats, but super, super sick fish. Gonna get a quick little pick and drop them back in the water. They release really, really fast. Let's get some more. The right hot back bite. down to the bottom. The hot bite. While we didn't get the monster that I was after, we definitely caught some good fish and it was a super fun afternoon. Just, you know, hanging out with a good friend and it definitely left me wanting to get back and fish, fish with Aaron again in the same location with the hope of catching an absolute true monster. Brings us to the next day. While fishing with Aaron, I got a call from my boy Victor, AKA Landshark, and he wanted to film a video fishing some road side canals for some invasive critters. I said, absolutely. I mean, we haven't done that in four or five years, at least done it together in four or five years. So I wanted to get down, see some big topwater blowups and catch some of those invasive critters. So I headed down to South Florida for an awesome day of fishing with my man Vic. What's up y'all? Welcome to the roadside portion of today's video. We are doing a little bit of fishing that Victor and I haven't done in a couple years, and that is fishing these roadside canals for some snakeheads. But we're casting on these roadside canals with little frogs and stuff in the hopes of catching one of Florida's most underrated game fish, I would call it. These things will sit with their head up into the side of, you know, whatever canal and stuff. They sit really close to structure. They're like overhanging limbs and stuff. And they, when they do see a bait, they are massively aggressive. They are so aggressive and they come up and hit these topwater frogs. So that's why we're fishing things like this guy, this live yeah. target here, come up and they just munch it. Get They get got by those double hooks. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get a couple. So I'm really trying to keep my frog close to structure here. These fish really like to sit with their heads in the bank. So my biggest snakehead came in a canal not so different from this, a little bit bigger. We were fishing from a boat and a giant Florida thunderstorm was coming. And we had to decide, wow, we gotta, we gotta get out of here. And I literally called last cast, casted my frog on the bank, reeled it off of the bank, and as soon as it hit the water, snakehead ate it. So these things will sit very, very close to structure. So you can't be afraid to throw close. You're almost never gonna get your bites in the middle. No. Did you wake one? Yeah, so while Ryan was telling you guys, I told him not to move because a lot of times you'll cast your frog too and you'll see a wake. It's usually indicative of a snake being there. Oh, that's a cast. You could use normal horny toads, move them fast. You can use these hollow bodies like we're using. They're not super picky about what they eat. I've caught a lot on like spinner baits and stuff like that. A lot of different presentations will get them going. These things are aggressive and that's why we like them a lot. Um, I haven't decided yet. I would do it. Yeah, you think so? I would definitely do Wednesday and Thursday. Friday is irrelevant. 
Okay. Got him on? Get real, 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 real. Snakey snake? A little slithery snake. Hey man, targets. Flip him up here, dude. Water. Flip him up. Yo! Ooh. Look at that guy. Wow. Summertime in Florida, you can experience some absolutely ridiculous weather changes. Blaring heat with not a breath of wind, pouring rain with the sun out, thunderstorms, and some of the buggiest weather that you could ever experience outside of a rainforest. And I think in a total of two hours, we experienced all of those. Florida was just extremely bipolar, but we stayed fishing and eventually we started to get some bites and find some fish. He's on the bottom right here. Come on. Oh, it's a gar. Literally came up off the bottom. Whoa, what was that, a largemouth? Oh dude, there's a largemouth and peacocks in here. Yeah. I literally see two peacocks and two largemouth. All right. And now I have a wind knot. Neither of us thought that there was a fish there. And the rain starts again. Wow. Dude, I got some weird ass bugs on me. <laughs> there we go. Got him, Ryan. Got him. I just watched a, walked a whole stretch while Vic went to back to get the truck. Didn't see one snakehead. As soon as Vic pulls up with this truck, I spook one. Vic takes two casts, gets hit. Fish doesn't get it. Then I catch my first one of the day. It's not a bad one at all. No. Definitely have some hat hair. We've gone from sweating through every piece of clothing we got to getting rained on to finally catching our first snake out of the day. It has been years since I caught one of these guys. Still super fun. Victor had to uh, help him luck me into it because he got whacked. And I was like, I'm gonna throw it right there. We just got whacked. And I saw the fish still sitting there and he choked it. Double hook right through the top of the mouth is what oh, we like uh -huh. to see. Whoa, these fish are strong y'all. Very, very strong. Stronger than a Marine I see. Uh-huh. Bam, bro. Anymore. Unless you want to take him home. Nope. So I'm gonna hook the, unhook this bad boy. Double hooks right through the top of the mouth. Look at those teeth too. These things are definitely wherever, whatever body of water they're in, they are some of the alpha predators out here. But what's interesting is like, at least this strain of snakehead, unlike the Northeast one, we've seen peacocks today. We've seen largemouth bass. We've seen gar, we've seen tilapia, we've seen cichlids, and I've seen like what looked like some type of carp. And they're all coexisting in this tiny little body of water. So Vic has got what he needs in terms of food. We're not gonna unnecessarily kill a fish that I really enjoy catching. And it's literally back into the exact same body of water that we caught it out of. There you go. <laughs> okay. So we literally just pulled off to the side of the road here to film a brand deal for Victor. Um, we didn't, we literally th didn't think this whole stretch looked good, but I hear in my ear, I hear a little boop. And I was like, hmm, something looks interesting over there. One cast. My biggest snake of the day. Whoa, stick, buddy. Dude. Yeah, that's a nice one. That might be the biggest one of the day, or at least as close to yours. I think he's really clean looking too. Yeah. It's beautiful. Dude, that's so funny. He might have been on fry because like this frog hit the water and there was like a bunch of little bloop, 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 bloop. A bunch of little things happen. Like maybe he was protecting his fry. Popped the frog once, crushed it. Beautiful animals, man. Look at that beautiful orange. Like when they have that white belly, orange, and then the red eye, they're very, very interesting fish. Super, super cool. Very unique to South Florida. This is a very Florida man <laughs> type of thing to do. And Vic showed you guys in his video, but I'll show you guys here. Rock hard head like a freaking cobia. Very, very unique fish. On the side of the road, roadside fishing. Me getting destroyed by ants right now. Oh my 
God, that one bit me good. Sitting in an amp pile? Uh, dude, I think I've literally just been traveling ants up and down the side of the road. I've just been carrying them in my shoes, but it's a nice one. 100% a nice one. Fishing's funny, man. Like, we walked probably, what do you say, like two miles on the first spot, half a mile here at the second spot, and then we literally pull over on the side of the road to do a brand deal for Vic, and I hear that little blip, and I cast out the frog in first cast, catch my biggest snake of the day. Like, right I can't, feet. yeah, I can't tell you how many stories that are like that, you know? I'm One of the first times I ever went snakehead fishing, I caught my biggest snake or one of my biggest snakes ever before we even got on the boat in the morning. Like I literally was just casting on the bank and caught one right there. That might actually been my first one. That's what it was. I think it was my first snake head ever. There's <laughs> all fishermen are the same. They think the further they go. Sorry, there's a mosquito on you. I didn't get it. Oh, that's right. Ah! I think all fishermen are the same. They think the further they go, the more money they spend, the fancier their gear, the more likelihood it's going to be a good bite well, or they're going to catch fish. There's like I've something been, to be said. I've been that. thinking about this. I think there needs to be a word for it. And it's like, it's not like the sunk cost. It's like the fish cost fallacy. Like you yeah. think the further you travel, the better the fishing's going to be. And in reality, the fishing could be really good at home and really terrible where you're going. Like you just don't know. <laughs> Even in Panama, I thought that we would just go out like right from where we were. Nope. You travel like 30 miles sometimes to get to a spot. That's, that's sick. One, that's sick. I was I had completely given up on this body of water. Oh, you're in the weeds. You're in the weeds. I think this is a good one. Get him, Luby. <laughs> oh, it's a good one, dude. Not a bad one to end the day with. Oh no, I'm like in the lily pads. Well, Fifty pound braid. Yep. Heavy braid. Oh in the sand. Oh, car's gonna run him over. <laughs> I want to give a big shout out to Navalis Apparel, the apparel sponsor of this channel. They are a huge reason why I'm able to bring these videos to you guys. So if you guys are interested in super comfortable fishing apparel, like this bamboo shirt that I'm wearing, bamboo line shorts that I'm wearing, they are a super awesome company that support creators like me. So do me a favor, check them out guys. Code Ryan20 is going to save you 20%. And that brings us to the final day. Down, I was already down in South Florida, so I decided to go out on the pier, and I wanted to try and catch some monster snook. Something that's, you know, very common this time of year in the summertime is there's big fish feeding on big baits. So I went out with a bucket of croakers with the hopes of catching a true monster and capturing it on video for you guys. Well, it's kind of early in the day. Unfortunately, it seemed like those snook had other plans. And this afternoon, there was just really no fish feeding. I just really couldn't buy a bite, changed my leader, changed my hooks, went with a lighter weight, went up and down the pier trying different locations and just didn't get a bite. So I decided to try my luck the next day, fishing on the pier again. The next day, I had a plan to use a different bait. It seemed like the snook really didn't want croakers at all the day prior, so I wanted to catch some big sand perch. Alrighty, let's try catch some fresh bait. So I got a real light little rig here. One ounce egg, little swivel, some 10 pound, tiny little circle hook. I'm just gonna put a piece of sh peeled shrimp on here. See if we can catch uh, a sand perch or a fresh croaker. Nothing when you want to do it is easy in fishing. I swear every time you have a plan, Mother Nature just comes up with a different idea. And we had a, had a strong east wind and that brought a bunch of sargasm, a bunch of seaweed to the beach and in the trough where you're normally going to catch sand perch, man perch, big mahara, whatever you want to call these fish species. And it made catching them almost impossible. Two hours of fishing for baits where I would normally catch, you know, six to eight or ten on a good day. Two hours, I only caught two and uh, left me with only a couple hours left to fishing. So there, the big old sand perch. That is one of my favorite snook baits right there. And he choked the hook down and I'm not gonna try and get that back. I'm just gonna let him, let him keep that till I fish him in a little bit. Sand perch going out. God, these things are very spiky. 
gill plates are very sharp. I did not like handling, handling them too much. Take him. Put him under the pier. And bam, as soon as I put that bait down, it got eight. And as soon as it got eight, it seemed like that it was over. What uh, had seemed like was a big snook at first, I realized was not a snook by the time I looked at my leader. That fish cut me off immediately. And it was actually the resident black tip shark that hangs out around the pier and tends to uh, treat himself to some snook baits every once in a while. A lot of guys were getting snook bites on perch, but my two perch just didn't seem to get eaten by snook on this day and I really wanted to get some pier action for you guys, so I headed out to the tee to see what was going on. Within minutes of me heading out to the tee with my cameras, something crazy happened. Check this out. Oh my gosh, so Luke threw a crab out. Let's see what he's got. Oh, he's tight. There's very few things that'll be. Very well could be a nice permit. Eric, pissed off. Ah. Don't come in. No, no, no. Oh, it is coming in. No okay. way, I'm done. No, 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 no. We let him run through the. the I'm yeah. reeling in. I'm reeling in. Go, 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 go. Yeah, go. yeah, let it go. Please go. Yeah, they will come into the pier and try and wrap you around the piling. So it's a game of cat and mouse with these things. camera on. Land them or not, don't care. Oh, man. Ryan got to make this money. Land them or not, don't care. Fun to be here. I don't want to hear. This is four summers in a row, boy. Yeah, let him get tired. This guy is the permit master. He's got more permit on this pier than anyone in the past three, four years. Go, 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 go. We like that. Go, go, go. Run, yeah, stay out, stay out. Stay out. Oh. Oh, yeah, Ricky got it. Oh. Really? Like this. Oh yes. Oh, go, yeah. go 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 go. Please. What do you hit him on? Yeah. Oh no no no. <laughs> 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 that be a whoop, man. Let, let the weight work. Let the weight work. Don't touch it. Very light drag, boy. Very yes, light. Sir. drag. He die out there. He die out there. So you got to try and get these fish to swim away from you and fight because if they do come in and try and wrap you around the piling, they're just too strong and too big to do it when they're still green and when they still have energy to turn them. That, there's a permit on top. Small one. I mean, it's good enough for me. Is it not small? It's good enough for me, dude. That's a nice fish. On top. That's what the one permit I've ever caught, that's what it did. There he is on top. Yep. Oh yeah! We, we like that. We no, like that. Yeah. I, I have to make it go and clear. Yep. I don't want to uh, bring oh, yeah. him up right here. You're gonna be on the Either gap. way over there or yeah. over there. Go that way, brother. There you go. There he goes. Keep getting, keep getting him out. Getting him, keep getting him to go out. Is what yeah. we want. I can't talk. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Lou, I used to like you. Oh. Is that a crab on that rod? No. <laughs> no, it's on that rod. <laughs> ah. This is the corner I've gotten as many as. I already had one out this way. Yeah. And it was gone. But it was an old um, one. So the I three. Like, I mean, I haven't hooked permits since 2010 off this place, but they're all right off this corner. Uh, Actually, yeah. no, 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 I did hook one on that side too. Oh, it might have been inside. Yeah. I never had the patience to fish in there. Get yeah. yeah! Let's go, Lou. Uncle Lou on the permit. Hey, same rod. Lucky rod, all right? Ah, lucky yeah. lucky permit rod? I'll give you 50 bucks for the rod. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, 50 bucks, maybe only two of this guy. <laughs> that. The real seat. Yeah. Every time I see a Ryan here, I got a fist, man. Land him or not, I don't know. Nah, he's been fighting good. All right, coming to the left. Coming down, coming down. Rods, rods, rods. Off the rods, rods, rods. Parker, get your rod, bro. Oh my gosh, Parker. Oh, no. Coming back this oh, way. Shit. Back coming this way. back down. Back down, back down. Go, go. The blue two. Under, over? Uh, under. Pick it up. You can just reel that one up. You want to reel that accurate up? Yeah, okay, we come this way. Yeah, he's good. Oh no, he got a thing over his line. No, that's it. I lifted. Oh, All right, I gotta pop them now. He's oh, nice. Pump, it. pump his ass. He's nice. Oh, 30 pounds. Yeah, he's nice. Yeah. Coming down, coming down, coming down. Coming down, coming down. Come on, guys. Give him room. Move those rods, move those rods. Big rod, big rod. Oh, no. If he goes under, Lou, just let him. Let him we snack the line. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we out. That's right. 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 That's yeah. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. You're good. He's good. This is layered, son. It's all right. Take it down. Take it down. Tangle. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Nail him. Oh. No. 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 Not yet, not yet, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yes, round, 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 Oh my god, mayhem, son. That's a nice permit. That thing's green as hell, too. Ooh. How big is that permit? Green as hell. Got that for that game, too. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Good my job. God. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go again. Yeah. There we go again. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Turn. Nice. Yeah. That's a king for Yes, sir. Nice permits. All right. The man, the myth, the oh, legend. Hey! We call him Permit Lou. I said, boy. Kingfish coming, coming down. down. Coming down. Coming down. down. Kingfish. Grab King some of these rods. Kuda. That's a weird looking king. That's a weird looking king. Weird ass king. I think he didn't even fit in the net. Oh! This is not fit in the net. Damn it, Papa. I think I'm. <laughs> oh, you got, you got oh, oh, in the head, Rick. Two for two. Oh, Watch out. Oh, Woo! Oh, Poor man's kingfish. Oh, kingfish. Oh, kingfish. Oh, kingfish. Oh, kingfish. Oh, Catching a big permit off the pier is something that only really happens a couple times a year. So to be there with the camera and be able to document it is super awesome, especially when it happens to a guy like Lou, one of the nicest guys on the pier. I was just super happy to be out there and capture that moment for him and for you guys. Let me know if you guys like this style of video, mashing up three days of fishing into one big storyline. I really enjoyed making this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do me a huge favor, check out this video right here, catching some absolutely stud fish in the Northeast with my boy Joe. I'll see you guys over there.